In this tutorial, I will show you how to use voice meter, how to play it through your mic, how to play an instrument through your mic, or if you want, how to play clips and audio through your mic without a feedback loop. All download links will be in the description. Step one, download voice meter. Once you've downloaded voice meter, you're gonna to wanna to go to your sounds and change everything to playback, set default, recording, set default. I recommend setting it to voice meter output and voice meter input, nothing else. Do not set it to voice meter aux input or this one, don't. Once that's done, you're gonna set up voice meter. First thing is click on this, set it to your microphone. Now that it's your mic, you should be able to hear yourself. Now, if that makes you mad and you don't wanna hear yourself, you're gonna to wanna to click this, A1. Once you click A1, you are no longer able to hear yourself. B1 is basically output one. As you can see, there's B1 on all three of these, but when you open up voice meter for the first time, B1 will be on for everything. I strongly recommend turning it off here, 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 and here. Well, not here, but turn it off everywhere else other than your mic. If you turn that on and some random audio starts going through your mic, that's gonna be really annoying. Once those are off, make sure this one is on. That will be used later. You can also label these by right-clicking the top. So let's say I wanted to call this one funny. Haha. <laughs> Or this one, funny mic. Set it to funny mic. And now you have a funny mic, as you can see here. I just muted my mic so I could not hear my second mic and my mic at the same time. This is an easy mute, so when you're in the middle of talk, you can turn. Simple as that. Solo, don't click that. Mono, don't click that. They're pretty straightforward. Solo makes it so that this is the only thing you're gonna hear. For from all of voice meter. Once you have voice meter all downloaded, set up, and you have everything working, and you wanna set up things like reverb, all you're gonna to wanna to do is go over here, click post, turn it all the way up, then go over here and see these. I have them at 4.5. I'm going to set them to 2.5 real quick. Then I'm going to right click reverb and turn it to large. Now, when you click this, you have reverb. I recommend using this one. Then when you want it off, you turn it off. But warning, when you turn it off and you've made loud noises, you go, ah, you turn it off. When you turn it back on, the reverb will still stay as you can see there. So be warned, obviously turning this up turns up the reverb. So if you turn it all the way up to 10, it's all the way up now, but I don't recommend that. So don't do that. <laughs> I set it to 4.5 because it gives you a nice reverby giggle. Now that you have voice meter set up, you're going to want to install FL studio. I already have FL Studio, but when you install FL Studio, you're going to want to make sure you download ASIO. That is very important. If you do not do that, <laughs> you're going to find yourself real confused. Once you have that set up, you open up FL Studio. First thing I recommend doing is clicking Packs, going down to Instruments, Keyboard, Grand Piano, tossing that into this slider right here. Usually when you open it up, it will say like 808, snare, those kinds of things. I'm gonna put this down and you may wonder why your keyboard or whatever you're using isn't working. If that is the case, then you're gonna to go to options, MIDI settings, and make sure these are set to generic controller. I do not have this set to generic controller because I actually own one of the Nectar Impact series. 
But if you can't find your Nectar Impact Series or whatever you're using, set it to generic controller. That's probably the best thing you're going to want to do. Now, click audio. You're going to want to click voice meter. Well, this right here, which says device and find voice meter aux virtual ASIO. That is the best one, in my opinion. Once you have that clicked, you should be able to hear your piano. It's a little bit loud, so I'm gonna turn it down real quick. Now that you can hear it, you may be wondering, whoa, why is there so much latency? There's a fix. You're gonna to wanna to go over here to menu on voice meter. Once you do that, system settings. Then, you're going to want to set it to these right here. Buffering MME, 1,200, whatever. 160, 160, 128. Once you have it on that, it should be low latency. But if you start hearing artifacts or weird glitchy audio, you're going to want to turn these up back to default. On voice meter will be over here. So things like notifications, annoying things, all of your desktop audio, like Google Drive or any of that, this will have desktop audio over here. Do not want to have your mic set to just default. <laughs> Don't do that. Make sure you select voice meter output and voice meter whatever this is input. I recommend using this one for a very good reason. This will be your Discord audio. Things like voices, people speaking, loud ear rape that's really annoying. Over here will be things like desktop audio, so games. If you want your games to go through your mic, you click this, but leave it off. If you want to have a feedback loop where people can hear themselves speaking, you turn on this, but I also don't recommend doing that. <laughs> now that you have everything set up, I would recommend testing it a lot before you go into Discord. Discord is weird. It doesn't like that you're using voice meter. And I can tell because every time I use voice meter, it's kind of glitchy. Now, if your voice is glitchy, then you're going to have to go back to using whatever mic you were using. Which is a little bit sad, but that is a fix if you're getting glitchy audio on Discord. But there is also another fix, Ripcord. Now, Ripcord's a little bit interesting, but it is the best for playing instruments. So if you were playing an instrument on Discord and you want people to hear your beautiful piano or whatever you're playing, you're gonna wanna use Ripcord. The difference between using Ripcord and not using Ripcord is literally night and day. Like, literally night and day. I have an example. Let me open it up real quick. Here's the difference between using Discord and using Ripcord. This is Discord. Sounds a little off. This is Ripcord. You can tell the difference. <laughs> Let's hear that again. That's why I recommend using Ripcord. It is easy to use Discord in a pinch, but the audio quality difference is so significant that using Ripcord is just that much more worthwhile. So now that you've been using Ripcord instead of Discord, Ripcord's a little bit annoying to use for voice chats, which is why I recommend keeping Discord open at the same time as using Ripcord. That'll help you and it won't be as annoying. Let's say you don't have an instrument and you're watching this video because you wanna play clips or music through your microphone. Well, that's also easy too. First thing you're gonna do is open up a Chrome tab. Now, here's the best part about making voice meter work properly. If you have it set up correctly, 
This will be your desktop audio, and this will be your mic. Let's say you want to play a funny ear rape, or I like you cut G. You open up, I like you cut G. Then you click B1 on this channel specifically. Once you've done that, it will go through your mic. <laughs> As you can see there. I can mute my desktop audio and it would still be playing it. Watch. Now that you know how to play things through your mic, you may be wondering, what's this? What is this right here? This is one of the most helpful things ever. You can play any video and any audio clip right through your mic without even having to open up a file or go to YouTube. You just click the audio file and you can play it. Easy, simple. You can open up music to control the volume you right click here and here's your volume slider now again i don't recommend using it to troll and do e-rape i know it might be funny to you but as someone who goes on discord a lot it really isn't but if it is a controlled environment and you know the people, you can do what you want. Just don't join a public discord and ear rape. I do not condone that activity. It is so annoying. No one finds it funny. I get it. You might find it funny. Just stay out of it. Just leave it alone. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use a MIDI controller on voice meter so you can control things like sliders and the mute button. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful, I'd recommend subscribing. I'm going to be posting this content hopefully weekly. I hope my steps were clear and easy to read. Thank you.